April 19, 1776. This was about gun control and control of the people. That's why you have a constitution, and in that constitution it says the right of the people to keep and bear arms should not be infringed. It's in there for a reason. The constitution is a limited government thing. Congress has never had the authority under the constitution to pass any firearm laws. Second Amendment to our federal constitution recognizes that the God-given right to keep and bear arms is to be free from any interference whatsoever from the federal government. According to the federal government, is nowhere in the Constitution granted authority to abridge, restrict, or infringe in any fashion whatsoever guns or ammunition. Thus, all those restrictive laws made by Congress all regulations made by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms are unconstitutional, is outside the scope of powers granted to Congress and to the executive branch by our Constitution. Restriction of arms and ammunition is not one of the enumerated powers delegated to the Congress or to the executive branch. Your Constitution says that the United States government it's constitutionally barred from infringing upon your rights. No matter how much they twist and turn this, we've got to get those communists out of, out of power. Now, we fought for it back in 1776. Now, we've been fighting this doggone gun control thing with words. We've pretty much got to the point that words aren't going to work, so we'll have to do something else. Call it cruel? <laughs> I don't give a shit. It's got to end. It's not in the Constitution that they can do this, and they're not going to do it any longer. The judges have been in error, the, Const or the Congress has been in error, and the Supreme Court, of all places, has screwed up this country. And they are the people that better wake up. April 19th is rolling around again. We revolted back in 1776 over gun control. You think it's any different now? You think we're going to let you walk all over us like we're nothing? That you can make restrictive laws that don't apply to us whatsoever, according to the Constitution? You guys better wise up. Your time's running out. Gun control never worked. It's never going to work, and period. If the people were armed, this shooting would stop. You think these people want to go out there and, and get shot and die? No. But if they got a chance that they can shoot somebody and get away with it, yeah, what the hell? Causes uh, terror and chaos among the residents. But if you don't know who is armed, well, guess what? Everybody suddenly gets really polite and courteous. And they know if they pull a gun and start shooting people, they're going to get shot. They're not going to see no courtroom. They're not going to see no jail. They're going to be dead. So, Congress, Supreme Court, you other uh, inferior judges, you better wise up. If you don't understand the Constitution, read the Federalist Papers. Read the Declaration of Independence. But don't you dare. Don't you dare say that people are ignorant. We know the Constitution is you people who have bypassed it. You circumnavigated it for your own will and needs. You're looking for more money, more control, more power. It ends. Gun control doesn't work. Control over the people doesn't work. Leave us the hell on. Thanks for watching.